Every society has unwritten rules, things that everyone agrees on, things that don't have to be said explicitly. But France has decided to say it nonetheless. They're officially writing down an unwritten rule, the rule against incest. First of all, what does incest mean? It refers to sexual relations between close relatives, like a parent or a sibling. Almost all societies have banned incest. Why? Well, technically, you should not even have, asked, have to ask that question. But here's the answer nonetheless. A, it is gross. And B, it is against the laws of nature. But believe it or not, incest was actually legal in France until now. I'm not saying it was accepted. I'm saying it was legal on paper. How did that happen? How did the birthplace of the French Revolution legalize incest? Because of the very same French Revolution. In the late 18th century, France wanted to erase its pre-revolution history. They wanted to erase all the conservative norms and rules. And they did, did that in 1971. 1791, I'm sorry. 18th century. Incest, sodomy and blasphemy were removed from the rule book. Centuries passed, but France never added them back, never officially banned them. And this decision had major repercussions. A recent poll found that one in 10 French people are victims of incest. 78% of them are women. Not all of them come out in public. According to the French government, only 10% of the victims lodge a complaint and only 1% of the perpetrators are convicted. But if incest is legal, how are these people convicted? Because there is a law, a caveat to this law rather, incest with minors was still a crime in France. But now France has finally seen common sense and they have prepared a blanket ban. All kinds of incest will be criminalized. Here's what the French Minister for Children said, and I'm quoting. It is not a question of age. It is not a question of consenting adults. We are fighting against incest. The signals must be clear. Whatever the age, you don't have sexual relations with your father, your son, or your daughter. Couldn't agree more. But why was France so late to this conversation? What made them act now? Last year, a major incest case hit the news. It involved this man, Olivier Duhamel. He is one of the most high-profile political scientists in the country. Last year, his stepdaughter wrote a book. She described how Duhamel sexually abused her twin brother around 40 years back. The victim was 14 years old then. And this case knocked some sense into the French leadership. The problem was too big to ignore, clearly. So one year later, they're finally banning all kinds of incest. But some questions still remain. For instance, will this law cover cousins? Will step families be exempted? All of this is yet to be clarified. And frankly, I can't believe that we're having this conversation. Millions of years of evolution, thousands of years spent perfecting cultures. And for what? To debate if incest is OK. And France, by the way, is not alone. Incest laws around the world will surprise you. It is legal in 22 countries. Incest is legal in 22 countries, including Belgium, China, France, Japan, Latvia, Portugal, Russia, South Korea, Turkey, and Spain, also the Netherlands. Some of them do not permit marriage, but consensual incest is legal in these countries. Same applies for the United States. On paper, incest is banned, but there are multiple exemptions. Like I said at the start, these countries do not embrace incest, but their law does not explicitly ban it. This legal gray area is a free run for abusers. Legal experts call it a victimless crime, except it's, it's, it's not. Incest does not have victims, does have rather victims and survivors. The difference is laws do not recognize them. Take France, for instance, around 6.7 million French 6.7 million French people said that they are victims of incest. 6.7 million. Some of the perpetrators belong to the powerful French families, the writers and politicians. So they never bothered to change the laws. France's new decision is welcome. It is coming 200 years too late, but it's welcome nonetheless. Other countries should take note of this. Because the fact is, most societies do not accept incest, and rightly so. And for the same reason, they never bothered to explicitly ban it. 
But now times have changed. Survivors are speaking out. Powerful abusers are being called out. Every country must revisit their rule book because sometimes unwritten rules lead to unseen crimes. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.